Yeah, man, we're back. B-Side Show.net like we do every Monday night. DJ Gemini in the mix tonight, man. Oh, yeah. Passing me by, Farsa. Hey, um, when we put the flyer up, it's funny, too, because, you know, well, she's been doing it for a minute, but you, you, you develop fans, like, from older genres to newer genres like as you as you develop your craft and it's crazy like even people like you know say someone like two max or whatever but when they've been doing it for a long time they have like a mix of younger and and, old, and older fans but uh we put the flyer up and i remember oh, i think it was uh foxy put a rhyme fighters you know right away like foxy already knew you know what i'm saying oh yeah foxy the home girl yeah, man, the, she's foxy, cool as the whole northeast la all them cats yeah. out there eq dark side all them cats you know what i'm saying them foods like they got mad respect from us you know what i'm saying yeah they've EQ, been out there working just as long as us you know and they deserve all the respect that they that they you know work for you it, know well let me ask you this man since you bring that point up since since back then man like you know from like you know the the let's say late 90s whatever to what it is now where do you you personally your opinion you know where do you think that 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 how hip-hop has developed and what it is you know regardless of the underground and just you know the culture itself you know where, where do you see it at now in your opinion you know hip-hop's hip-hop it's always gonna stay the same you can't really reinvent the wheel you know what i'm saying there's no there's no reason like it, it kind of almost sometimes i it, it it's almost um lack of a better word like humorous to see sometimes you see these mcs come out and say oh I, i'm the nice mc and i'm gonna change hip-hop i'm gonna change hip-hop and fucking all this like motherfucker you ain't gonna change hip-hop unless you're gonna call it reggaeton or some shit you know what i'm saying and even they you do some shit like that it ain't hip-hop no more you can't really reinvent the wheel but what you could do is you could basically remember like um there's always a table and the table could be round and even though that round table it's still a wheel so like you can't really reinvent the wheel but you can always turn it you can always turn the table you can always turn shit into your direction you know what i'm saying and and so that's what I, i've been noticing and learning throughout the years like listening to ho- the homie curtis king right now just talk about how he's maturing and seeing how he needs really you know like i said hip-hop's hip-hop and it really depends on the individual uh, as the artist is what he's gonna do how he's gonna change or her or whatever the individual art is so i mean hip-hop's always gonna be here it's never gonna go nowhere there's always gonna be somebody struggling there's always gonna be somebody want to graph up a fucking wall there's always gonna be somebody pissed off at the fucking cops there's always gonna be that shit out there so hip-hop ain't really going nowhere but as far as like the the artist and shit i see them um you know a lot i see a lot of the artists maturing like you know and i see a lot of you know foxy eq acid rain fucking all the cats that were out been out there like we've been out here for fucking years you know yes, what i'm sir. saying yes sir so, like fucking you know well, wacko, all, all like, of them fucking, been coming yeah and they've you know been all saying? like that's what we've been getting a lot of those artists so, like, coming through what, the show what, like what i what i what i want for hip-hop i'm gonna tell you right now what i want for hip-hop i ain't, I ain't gonna fucking front no more i want all these fake ass fucking promoters to get off the fucking deals nigga stop acting like bitches and start treating these fucking artists like artists because nobody knows who the fuck you are homie i don't give a fuck yo like when they make these flyers your fucking name isn't the big fucking name on these flyers it isn't like fucking um krs1 is performing at big old promoter guys is fucking spot nah homie it's big old promoter guy presents motherfucking krs1 and two mechs and acid rain so fucking you guys need to start treating artists with more respect and what i start what i started to notice is they're starting to starting to be a little renaissance where people are starting to to invest more of their finances and time into these artists because really an artist needs to be an artist you need like i don't want to hear shit like okay put it this way don't book me for your fucking show and then tell me i'm gonna go on at 10 30 and then nobody comes to your fucking show because nobody wants to be there till 10 o'clock because fucking quasar is not gonna be there till 10 30 and then when i get there you're like oh well homie wanted a bus in front of a crowd so we had to bump you nah homie get your shit straight promoters 
Don't even call me for a fucking show until you got your structure planned out and shit. Straight the fuck up. I don't want to do no free shit. I'm not here to do it on the fucking humble. You want some free shit? Go down my, let, download my free shit off of Reverb Nation. Straight the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You want some fucking free shit? Go catch me when hey. I fucking bust a freestyle on a parking lot and shit. You want see, some free see, shit? He's, you know got a, he's got a little bit of everything. He's got some go. free shit if you wanted to. Hey, but hey. he brings up a good point, though. Seriously, uh, man. I mean, like... You know, the, the promotions game has, you know, has changed. Right? I mean, I've done promotions back then, but it's like it, it's about the value of the show, the presentation of the show, the experience for the people that are going. And when they walk away, like the main objective is like, damn, that was a dope show. You know what I'm saying? Like that exactly. that's the main objective. It's not like, hey, good job promoter a i made you know some, i mean it's, I made yeah. Some money. yeah like whoa you made a shitload of money and uh you know everyone's walking out pissed off exactly like, no you know yeah yeah saying? we have lost the 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 value of 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 because of, it is entertainment sense you know what i'm saying the value of entertaining no, people and having a good I, time I, and shit, I, man. I agree though too that there is like a renaissance coming back and also with not only artists but just the fans in general coming back and supporting exactly. shows and stuff i've been noticing that lately a yeah, lot and i have lately, to give man. a big big up to all the fans out there everybody supporting all everybody not just supporting rhyme fighters just supporting hip-hop because i'm just a, a part of the the entire you know the infrastructure of this whole thing i'm called hip-hop so i mean if you're not supporting me at least support fucking hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Support yeah. the well fucking said. artists. Well said. Treat the fucking artists like artists. You know, it, put it this way. Look at, check it out. If if you can't afford two hundred and fifty dollars to book fucking let's say two max, then why do you have ten MCs on your lineup? Like honestly, I like they overbook their shows with a bunch of fucking MCs, and then they don't pay half the fucking MCs. And then the fucked up thing is I can overhear some of the MCs getting asked out on some of the shit, and it's and it's sad because I'm an MC and I'm an artist. You know what I'm saying? So like, what I'm I, I'm I want to do is like like speak up for that shit i'm not gonna stand around and fucking take this shit no more i ain't gonna fucking do shows with you punk bitches no more if you don't fucking come correct straight the fuck up and you're guaranteed a fresh ass show i promise you because i've been fucking doing this shit for way more motherfucking years than you even thought of booking a show 1995 most of y'all motherfuckers were in sixth fucking grade so think about that shit you know what i'm saying sixth born. fucking grade and if you weren't in, if you weren't yeah. in sixth grade you if you weren't in sixth grade you weren't thinking about no fucking hip-hop you were fucking quebradita dancing somewhere in the fucking swap meet wearing some fucking stonewashed jeans fucking boots and shit with a big ass fucking belt buckle or and now all of a sudden you want to talk about fucking hip-hop most of you don't even know rifle man most of you don't even know volume 10 most of you don't even know foxy one most of you don't even know those motherfuckers and then you want to start booking all these fucking people and then not giving them respect nah you guys are fucking up the game get the fuck up out of this shit before you get stomped in the fucking face <laughs> That bullshit. Hey, some of I'm them ready are, to go out there and beat some yeah, fucking promoters' yeah. ass right now, Some of now, them are getting on that level, though. They, they might cross a couple too many lines. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, speaking of shows, though, you know, and ones that are done right, you you got you do have a show coming yeah, up. Yeah, we though. do have a show coming up. Um, We're going to have some shit. It's, uh, we're, we're releasing our CD, Cola Crew. So we got Scarab coming through to rock a nice show. We got LA Cool gonna come through and rock a nice show. We got Blunt Funk gonna come through, rock a nice show. They're affiliated with the Chamber Archives crew. They're gonna come through, it's a live band. Um, we also just added to the list, we got CBE coming through, Riddler, Nigga Fish. You know, that's the only time you ever hear me saying nigga and nigga fish, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just not in my vocabulary, straight the fuck up. But the homie fish gonna come through, Reckless gonna come through, you know what I'm saying? CBE, got all them motherfuckers. And we got um, Brewham, Brew, Brewham Brewery gonna be up in there mixing up some micro brews for the fans. You know what I'm saying? So everybody that buys a ticket basically gonna get some fucking free brew up in that bitch. You know, everybody get wow. basically gonna get treated like a VIP. You're gonna get a free cola CD. You're gonna get free Cali Love gear. You're gonna get into the fucking uh, about at least maybe 10, 15 fucking raffles, raffling off canvases from Thanks One, UTI, Darks, fucking myself. I got some canvases. I mean, motherfuckers are gonna, fans are gonna love that shit. No, that's. You know? Dope, right? That's how, 
it, that's how people like that's what they're gravitating towards now is when you when you give him back to the fans man they really yeah. they really appreciate and, and love that shit yeah man. and that's what i was saying earlier like i said you go into that show you're gonna walk away with something guaranteed if not you're walking away with a dope experience man. Oh, exactly and yeah. i promise that, gonna walk away. there's free brew they're gonna walk out going, and you get free brew they're gonna <laughs> walk they're gonna stumble out going, yeah you're gonna stack it the the <laughs> and when's all this going down brother february 22nd Ooh, February two 22nd. days after my birthday. Oh yeah, so I think he, I know where I'm gonna go. I know where I'm gonna go celebrate yeah, yeah. on my hey, birthday. Hey, where is it? One more time, man. Where is hey, it? It's be? at uh, Nasty Garage out here in Pomona. Um, feel free to look up Nasty Garage Pomona or Cali Love Clothing. You can go on the colacrew.com. We got tickets on the colacrew.com. There's no hidden fees, no surcharges, no delivery fee. You get that shit shipped straight to your fucking crib. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about fucking ticket master gonna tax you 10 bucks for this and all that bullshit. Nah, fuck all that. You guys get your fucking tickets and you're straight. You know what I'm saying? There's a capacity, right. there's a limited capacity, so there's only gonna be 120 people allowed. Oh, so tickets you are being sold. Get We're, your tickets, people. You know, get a, your tickets. I don't man. wanna, I, I, you know what I'm saying? But you, you, you're gonna wanna get your tickets quick because we ain't gonna be allowing nobody to come up at the door and be like, hey, can I come in and shit? Nah, none of that shit. Like, that shit's gonna be closed due to the, you know, we don't, we don't need that shit shut down for fire reasons. Right, yeah, you don't wanna fuck it up for everybody else. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Especially when there's free brew. Special. I know. Hey, hey. <laughs> that just got me going right there. Yeah, I know. Look at this guy. Hey, hey, uh, the project, too. Where can they check out the new project? Ne- new project. You yeah. could, uh, it's not available for download right now. Um, all, you could buy it off uh, rhymefighters.com. It's called Prescribed America. Basically, uh, the last year or so, I've been working as a um, pharmaceutical manufacturing technician. Manufacturing pharmaceuticals basically from scratch. It was blood thinners, and we make a bunch of different other crap and little stuff. And not only that, I have a medical experience. I've been, you know, nursing and all that bullshit. So the the just the knowledge that I've acquired and the and the shit like that, I basically applied it into this CD called Prescribed America, and it just encompasses the whole bullshit from pink slime, the clone food, the drones, the fucking, you know, basically you know, all that bullshit. So you know what I'm saying, like. Yeah. Man, feel free. You, you gotta buy that shit. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to get a song off. You know, uh, off that shit. The song that I'm gonna do is um, called Agent MPO. If anybody's familiar with the um, letters MPO, it's when a doctor prescribes you not to have anything by mouth. And so, hence this song, Agent MPO, nothing by mouth. Basically, keep your fucking mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, um, when you're working for the pharmaceutical company and shit, you're you're um, sworn to sign an affidavit that basically. Um, swears you to confidentiality where you can't talk about none of this shit. So, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? So, they really want to hide a lot of this shit. And you're basically an agent that's sworn to silence once you start working for them. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, man. <laughs> that's crazy shit. That I'm people glad I don't eat. take meds. Yeah, yeah, no. People, I don't. I hate meds. I don't like pe- pills. People really Yeah, just smoke do. weed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All natural and shit. <laughs> people need to read up, man. There's a lot of stuff going on out there. And don't be blind Yeah, and I'm going to say straight the fuck up. Like, you know, I, I support the whole fucking weed movement, all that fucking shit because it's bringing a lot of money revenue to our fucking state to our country and not only that fuck the pharmaceutical company they're gonna try to stop you motherfuckers i'm telling you right now and you probably already fucking know it you know what i'm saying you got um who do you got fucking um uh, they're uh, the biggest drug dealers around, man, when you really think about it. You it, know what I'm saying? It, you got Monsanto that's basically running the FDA right now, and they're the biggest clone fucking food artists out there. And if they're running the FDA, they're also running the drugs, which is basically they're running the drugs and the food. So basically they're the ones that put the drugs into the food that we basically eat. And then we're wondering why we have shit like super viruses, MRSA, VRE, and shit like that. Well, that's because we're overdosing our bodies every day with antibiotics. And then so we're more prone to infections than we ever were before. You know what I'm saying? So very knowledge, true. You know very saying? true. You Go see, get man? you some. <laughs> you might. You must learn. Hey, check it out, man. We'll we'll be right back. We're gonna play a video and we're gonna come right back with a live performance on the B side. DJ Gemini on the mix. <laughs> Deadly Hash, where you at?